My name is Reed Schlegel, I'm an industrial designer, and here is a quick sketching tip. So drawing cubes in perspective is more or less straightforward. Something I find people have more frustration with is drawing cylinders and ellipses in perspective. So there's two ways you can do it. One, it's a little bit looser, but it still uses the same foundations of drawing rectangles in perspective. Take the same base shape that we talked about before, that is in a very light, but more or less exaggerated perspective, and then ghost in an ellipse. The goal is to get your lips to come as close to all the corners as you can while still feeling natural. And from here, you can very easily add your lines in perspective that are going down towards a vanishing point and just throw in a bottom. Another way you can do it that takes it a little bit step further and actually makes it a little bit tighter is to use the exact same base shape, but then find an ellipse template that you find that really works. So for this one, I'm gonna guess and say it's about a 35. And from here, I wanna have my shape get into all the corners as far as I can, and just throw a line around it. And then from there, I can quickly take my lines in perspective, go down, and then use the same lips template, but using a slightly smaller one since things foreshorten as they go down and go towards your banishing points, and throw in the secondary line. So from here, two different ways to draw an ellipse with a cylinder on the bottom of it. One's a little bit tighter, while one's a little bit looser.